In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the power supply unit in your desktop. This particular desktop is a Dell Inspiron 3671. It has some specificities that don't apply to other desktops, but the instructions I'm going to show you generally apply to all desktops. So I'm going to be installing this Corsair TX650M in my Dell Inspiron desktop. So let's start. The first step you need to do, of course, is to open the Dell. It has two screws here, so I'm going to remove these screws. You need a Phillips head screwdriver. And then you can slide the cover like this and just open it. And this is the power supply. So this is the old PSU that we need to remove. It has two connectors here that we need to disconnect first. I'm gonna try to show them to you. The first one is a motherboard and this is the white one here and it simply can be removed by pressing here on the pin and just pull it up like this. So I pressed on this pin like this here and I just pulled it up. And the second one is the CPU and the CPU here is connected inside the case as you see it is the one here it is a four pin connector so you need just to remove it also by pulling on the pin and then remove it and then this is the cable we need to remove the cable too It has some small latches here that you can just disconnect. And then here it is also and a small latch that I'm trying to remove. And here it is removed. And this is here, the CPU cable. So I'm removing it. So now the power supply doesn't have any more connection inside the computer. So we need to remove the screws of the power supply. It has four screws here that need to be removed. So I'm gonna remove them and just pull it out. Also the screws are removed with the Phillips head screwdriver. And here are the four screws removed and the power supply simply just push it gently like this and it can be removed. You see there's a lot of dust here in the computer this is a good time to clean it so I have a small vacuum here that I'm gonna operate just to clean it be careful when you clean the computer not to touch anything you notice here that this PSU has its fan on the bottom side because the Dell it should be installed like this and why I cannot install it like this because the opening of the screws here will not align with the opening here so I have to install it like that and you notice that my Dell doesn't have any openings here so in order to make the PSU breathe I'm gonna drill some holes here and this is the first tweak I told you about for the Dell so here I have a drill with a drill bit of about five millimeters so I'm gonna drill some holes here I'm not gonna put the Dell like this because if you put it like this all the debris will go into the computer so I'm gonna keep it horizontal like that and then I'm gonna drill here about eight holes 
So I'm gonna start drilling. So this is the first hole. I'm gonna drill more holes. Be very careful when you drill the holes so that you don't hurt yourself. And I'm gonna remove everything later with a vacuum cleaner. So this is two. I'm gonna drill the third hole now. Be very careful with the debris because you don't want to get the debris on your hands. So what I'm gonna do later is I'm gonna vacuum everything inside and out. So make sure, as I said, to clean everything up. You don't want to get this in your hands. So this is clean. So be very careful here not to hurt yourself with these indented here metal. So I don't know if you can see it. So there are some indented metal here. I'm gonna try to just push them a little bit like that. This is from the outside. I'm gonna clean it also from the outside. Now be careful and please do this at your own risk because I don't want you to tell me later that you hurt yourself doing this. So I'm doing this and I'm knowing what I'm doing. So this is the final debris here, I'm removing it. And of course now if your Dell is still under warranty, <laughs> it will no longer be under warranty because you're doing all these modifications. So make sure you wanna do these modifications. And now we can install the power supply with the fan facing down because we drilled the holes. So it goes like that. So the second tweak I'm gonna show you is that in my Dell Inspiron, you see the power supply here, the power cover, it hits this here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this screw here and pull up the cover and put it on top of this one. Let me loosen this one here and you're gonna see I'm just gonna pull it up and put it on top of the border. So here it's loosening up. You need to loosen this one up too. So now we have some space here. Let me put it now and show you what I'm talking about. So you see here, I'm gonna now, you see how it slides on top of the border here. And now you can just Tighten the screws and it is sitting flush and we need now simply to put the screws of the power supply so it comes with four screws and they should go in here pretty easily. They are just a little bit tight they are not really really aligned just a millimeter so i put them diagonally a little bit so now the power supply is installed and now we need to connect the cables and this is the third and final tweak because the power supply the aftermarket power supplies come with a 24 pin connector for the motherboard and the Dell has a proprietary connector which is 8 pin connector. This one here, hope you can see it. So what I've done is that I've got 
an adapter, 24 pin to an 8 pin adapter. I got it from a site called Modi because I couldn't find it on Amazon or if I found an adapter on Amazon or on other sites, they didn't say specifically that they were for the Dell Inspiron. But this one said specifically that it was for the Dell Inspiron. So I'm gonna hook it up here. You see it has here a key and it should go here with the key and it should just go in. It clicks like that and now I can install this 8 pin on my motherboard. And now here it is installed. I'm gonna tidy up the cables of course afterwards. And now I still have the CPU and the CPU connector here in the Corsair is an 8 pin but it can be divided because I have a 4 pin CPU connector. So I have a 4 pin CPU connector which is here. So I'm gonna split this one in two because it is designed to be split in two. It has, I think, a small key to split it like that. So it's split like that. And now I can get the cable. I'm gonna put it, it has here a place to go in. I'm just gonna put it. Let me remove the SATA connectors. I'm gonna install them later. So these SATA connectors here, I'm gonna remove them just and I'm gonna install them later just to have a space to work on. So this is the CPU cable. I'm gonna take it from Here, like that. And it should go into this here. And then it will go all the way here and here. So see how it is tidy now. And then it should go into the CPU here. Hope you can see it. So I'm gonna just put it here in the CPU. And it went into the CPU now. So here now I have the CPU connected. And I have my motherboard. And now because this is a semi-modular power supply, it has many connections here. Let me try to show them to you. So here you have peripheral and SATA, and then you have also PCIe connectors. I won't be needing the PCIe connectors for me because this is usually used for a graphics card and I don't have a dedicated GPU in my PC. So I'll be only connecting one SATA cable so this is the SATA cable I'm gonna be putting in. I'm gonna simply be connecting it here. So now I connected the SATA. So here I have a card, the PCI card that needs SATA power. And this is the SATA power coming from the PSU. So I'm gonna put it in the card here. Okay, so this is the SATA for the PCI card connected and the SATA for my SSD drives. I'm going to leave the SATA that is on the motherboard because it controls also the power saving. So here I have two power for the SATA and I have two SSD drives. So I don't have to use directly the SATA power from my PSU. So I'm going to simply leave it like that okay so now everything is connected let me tidy up the cables there are some zip ties provided 
with the cursor. So I'm going to use the zip ties. And you see that the installation is now clean. So let's close down the computer now and hook it up and see how it works. And don't forget that the power supply has an on off here. So I'm going to put it on and I'm going to test it now. And this is the first time I turn on the Dell. So let me turn it on. The power supply is very quiet. And this is a monitor, TV slash monitor. And let's see if everything works as intended. And you see it is booting up and everything is working as expected. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.